If the Crystal Palace game last night, and indeed the entire season, revealed one thing more than any other, it is that Ralph Rangnick was right. Back in April 2022, the then Manchester United interim boss warned the club it needs open heart surgery to return to its glory days. Four transfer windows have passed since then, with 22 senior players leaving the club permanently. However, more misguided transfers, many of which are best summarized as either showing no long-term planning or handing too much power to the manager, have once again left the Red Devils with a huge rebuilding task. There is finally some faith such a task could be handled with appropriate care under new minority owners Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos, who have complete sporting control of the club after buying a 27. Seven percent stake in the club. Now sitting in eight, Man United are on track for their worst ever Premier League season after a game described by Eric Ten Hag as his worst ever defeat, so the job could not be more difficult. Read more on MANUTD Owen, Owen, Gone Owen demands United sack Ten Hag for McLaren as Skulls calls him the best Hulk win a stunning Rolex Hulk Submariner or £12,000 cash alternative from just 71p reports suggest all but three, Kobe Mainu, Alejandro Garnacho and Rasmus Hodgland, of the current squad are up for grabs providing there is sufficient interest. However, as Sun Sports Phil Thomas puts it, who would want them? Below we take a look at each player in the senior men's team and whether Ratcliffe and co should show leniency or swing the axe. Andre Onana. Stay after a dodgy start at Bold Trafford Andre Onana has proven to be one of the more reliable members of the Man United squad this season. A restless defence in front of him has seen only two goalkeepers face more shots, while none have made more saves than him. Few are better with their feet as well, and getting a stable team in front of him should work wonders for Man United. Most read in football NOTT Happy Nottingham Forest's points deduction confirmed as they learn appeal outcome read the riot ACT shut up and get off the pitch fumes Carragher as he calls out United flops case closed Eric Ten Hag called out for embarrassing man United selection Moyo Moy Moy's road with West Ham director and had contract offer withdrawn before exit casino special, best casino welcome offers Altai Bayandir, Go reports in February suggested Altai Bayandir was unhappy with his bit part role at Man United amid interest from Turkish giants Galatasaray. He was a relatively cheap purchase, but if there is sufficient interest and a deal can be made which would yield some profit for the books, then a sale may be the best option for all parties. Jamie Carragher tells Casemiro, this needs to stop, and Man United flop needs to quit club after Crystal Palace horror show Tom Heaton, stay veteran goalkeeper Tom Heaton, is a reliable backup and is on a small wage at the club. So long as he is happy in that role it should be of no consequence to keep him. His character and experience can help nurture a younger goalkeeper such as under-18 league winner Tom Miles or Radek Vitek when he returns from loan as well. Aaron Wan Bissaka Go Aaron Wan Bissaka has never managed to make the right back position his own for one reason or another, and is certainly no longer the club's starter there following Diogo Delot's rise this season. He has featured at left back on a number of occasions this season but has appeared to be a fish out of water in all but a few games.
With his contract up in 2025, it makes sense to cash in now. Diogo Delot, stay overall Diogo Delot, who came 16th in the Football Writers Association votes for Football of the Year, has been one of Man UTD's most consistent performers this season, if such a thing was believable given the state of the team. While a fullback will be needed, there are more pressing concerns for the club to worry about, particularly when there are talented defenders such as Harry Amass waiting in the academy. Rafael Varane, go Rafael Varane managed to get himself back into the starting she after a rough patch of form before injury saw him sidelined again. If it wasn't for his injury record there would be a strong shout to keep him for another year, but Ineos can ill afford passengers in the team if they are to perform the open heart surgery the club needs. Harry Maguire, go another star who has worked his way back into the starting eleven this season, Harry Maguire has showed he has the right character to be at Man United. Overall ability and desired profile are another matter however. His lack of pace has always been at odds with the high line Man United want to play, while on the ball he has often not been good enough to play out. Lisandro Martinez, stay what could be if he was actually fit and healthy. Having just one left-footed player would do wonders in helping Man United build up, and Lisandro Martinez is second to none in that regard. He needs a long-term defensive partner on the right side, possibly Jean Claire Tadebo based on reports and to cut out the injuries which have plagued him this season, but his immediate future at the club should be safe. Johnny Evans. Go veteran campaigner Johnny Evans could easily be on the stay list if he was only going to be a bit part player, but we have opted to move him on considering his age. He has generally been a steady player for the team this season but has shown his advanced years at times, such as in last night's game against Crystal Palace when Jean-Philippe Mateta ran him ragged. Victor Lindelof, go like Juan Bissaka, Victor Lindelof has been reliable if not unremarkable in his Man United career. He also has one year left on his contract so should be moved on if a decent transfer fee can be got for him. That being said it would not be the worst move in the world to keep him for another year. Willie Kambwala, stay like Evans, Willie Kambwala has stepped into the first team when needed and generally been solid. He should be given the opportunity to mature for a few years behind a senior CB pairing before stepping into the first team as a starter or being moved on. Luke Shaw. Go one of the Premier League's best left backs when fit, Luke Shaw has been a good servant when available. But alas that has been his Achilles heel once again this season. Reports suggest Man United will consider a new left back given their crisis in the area this season, and as rare as a player of Shaw's quality is, there are many more who are simply available more. Terrell Malaysia. Stay Terrell Malaysia was decent enough to earn some merit in his first season at Man United before injury ended his season and inadvertently led to his second season being a write-off. Hopefully he can return to full fitness over the summer and be an option for whatever manager is in charge.
Sifian Amrabat, Go Sifian Amrabat looked like a world beater at the Qatar World Cup with Morocco. How much of a faux pas would it have been to sign him permanently? After an underwhelming season in England, Amrabat's loan spell will almost certainly not be made permanent, and nor should it based on the displays of this season. Casemiro, go Casemiro's disastrous performance against Crystal Palace was the straw that broke the camel's back in terms of there being any doubt as to whether he was still up to the standard to play for Man United. Needlessly diving into challenges, roaming miles from his position and giving away the ball time and time again, if a club is willing to buy the Brazilian then Man United should snatch their hand off. Christian Eriksen. Go brought in on a free transfer, Christian Eriksen would represent pure profit from a financial fair play perspective, so making a sale to improve Man UTD's position on that front means this is an easy one. The former Tottenham playmaker proved a useful asset and Ineos should look to bring in another player with similar traits, but frankly his legs have looked gone towards the end of this season. Kobe Mainu, stay the first of the so-called untouchables, Mainu has been a rare shining glimmer of hope in the Red Devils midfield this season. He is far from ready to lead the team, but with a proper structure around him he can be moulded into a player who could dominate the Old Trafford engine for more than 10 years. Mason Mount. Stay despite flattering to deceive earlier this season, Mason Mount has seen his best season at Old Trafford riddled by injury. He has similar qualities to Ericsson with an added engine to boot, he is another star who can be given the benefit of the doubt until summer 2025 at least. Scott McTominay, stay Scott McTominay has proven himself to be a brilliant plan B off the bench this season, and that is exactly why Inia should look to keep him for next season. His goals have been vital to Man United and as a result he should be kept around and used as a superb super sub rather than being given the nod to start week in week out. Bruno Fernandes, stay Man UTD's best player since his arrival just over four years ago, Bruno Fernandes remains second to none when it comes to creating chances. He is the club captain and his tenacity was sorely missed against Crystal Palace. He should have a spot in the team guaranteed for the next few years at the very least. Anthony, go at £85 million, there's a definite case to argue that Anthony may be the worst pound-for-pound -pound signing in Premier League history. Too often games pass him by, and when he is involved he is often not good enough. The price tag of a player originally marked at £25 million doesn't help, and despite some memorable moments he simply isn't Man United quality. Anthony Marshall, go out of contract in the summer, Anthony Marshall has been a drain on club resources in the last couple of seasons. He has chipped in with the odd goal and his injury record means some sympathy can be handed to him, but ultimately Marshall needs to be let go this summer. Marcus Rashford 
stay as easy as it would be to say Marcus Rashford should leave the club this summer, it is difficult to look at the market and find many players capable of scoring 30 goals a season. There are more pressing issues in the squad than at left wing, and he should be given the benefit of the doubt that he can good again next season unless a very strong bid comes to prompt a sale. Alejandro Garnacho, stay another third of the untouchables trio, Garnacho has made the right wing his own since coming into it and may even be the long-term solution there despite his preference to play on the left, where he is less effective. He remains a raw talent but his partnership with Rashford and Rasmus Hodgland has proven to be electric and one that can only get better with time. Rasmus Hodgland, stay a slow burner in his first Man United season, Hodgland has often been starved of supply which has led to him being unable to get the goals his movement and unselfish play often merits. He needs a deputy to share the load of minutes with two, but Hodgland is an obvious keep and rightly the third star of the untouchables. Read more Sun Stories Scary Ordeal Gemma Collins Heartbroken as she reveals her mum is in intensive care money madness my service charge has gone up to £3,000 a year. I've lost all my savings Ahmed Diallo. Stay in the fleeting moments he has been on the pitch for Man United this season. Ahmed Diallo has looked dangerous and exciting. He was a big investment from Atalanta and should be given a chance to flourish with some proper chances in the first team across a whole season, possibly rotating with Garnacho on the right side. Pundits verdict on Ten Hag's future Where do the pundits stand on Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United future Michael Owen? Has to go he cannot, simply cannot, manage this team next season. H is not good enough, Teddy Sheringham, might stay if he wins cup but should go if United win the FA Cup, he could stay. But, for me, changes are needed and Manchester United need to get it done sooner than later. Jamie Carragher, sacked, I don't see how Eric Ten Hag stays. It's just performance after performance. Gary Neville, stay if he wins the FA Cup to sack a manager who's won two trophies in his first two seasons at the club I think would be extreme. Louis Saha. On the fence I don't see it as clearly but they need changes from the players, but they need changes from him as well. Alan Shearer, sack, I believe the future of the Man United manager is already determined. Even if they win the FA Cup I think H is gone.